everybody welcome to the channel today we're not going on an adventure but we are going to review my new favorite toy the rover cooler so stay tuned <music> is the Rover 60 cooler. They do make this cooler also in a 45 and an 80. And let me show you some of the features as it comes. So as you'll see, these are not normal cooler tires. These are pretty heavy duty tires. They're also fillable right here with air. So you can deflate them or inflate them. This is supposed to help you in rugged terrain, whether you're on a trail, you're going into your campsite. Also for the sand, it's supposed to be a little bit easier. Right here, you've got your handle. You can have one person on each side, but I will say we've already used this cooler once and I was able to tote it all by myself with it completely full of probably about 15 pounds of ice, water, food, and I had no problem. As you'll notice, there is a bin on top of this cooler. This actually comes with the 60 cooler. Some of the 45s, I believe, do not come with this. This is attached by Velcro and it pops open. This right here is the bottom part of your tote. You just set it in here. And you've got a really nice big tote you could fit your camping chairs, you could fit some food, some clothes, towels. Also, all you have to do is take this and loop it around. And as you go, this is not going to go anywhere. This is going to stay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take this off so I can show you the inside of the cooler. All right, you've got these nice heavy duty rings that you just pop open here. Alrighty. So one of my favorite parts of this cooler, which made me really want to buy it was this drive-in. So we've had a Arctic cooler. If you're familiar with those, we've also had Yeti coolers. And some of those coolers that are big and hefty like this and hold your ice for days and days, they're great, but they, a lot of them come with those uh, wire bins. And honestly, if you're trying to put sandwiches and things like that in there, it's really just not enough room. So this drive-in was a big seller for me. So this right here will hold it in and it just screws out. So if you don't want to use the drive-in, you have a lot more space. That right there is just going to be your plug that goes on the outside. I just left it open for now. But the best thing about this drive-in, it keeps it dry. Last weekend, we went to the lake and we were able to put four foot long subs in here. We put our sunscreen in here so it didn't get all gross in the heat and some other snacks. And we were also able to put a ton of water, ice, cans of Cokes, lots and lots of room in here. And not one bit of condensation or water crept in here, which is great. It kept everything perfectly cold. If I'm not mistaken, I saw some other reviews that said it was about 37 degrees in here when it was full of ice. Now I wanna show you some of the attachments that we decided to purchase just because we thought they were really cool. And if you're gonna have a badass cooler like this, you might as well have all the attachments. Okay, so I'm gonna go over a few of the accessories we got. We actually purchased these three accessories together in a set, but if I'm not mistaken, you can purchase them separately if you don't want all of them. Um, so what we have here is just a little pouch for phone, keys, things like that. Sunglasses maybe, you have your stainless, I believe this is stainless steel cup holders. They're really heavy, uh, galvanized steel maybe. And then um, a cutting board, or I'm gonna use it more as a table for us. It says Rover on it, which is really cool. And let me show you how these go on. So it's really easy. 
You just hook it like that and there's your table or cutting board and it does go on all sides or three of the four sides. So you can put it there and let me show you the cup holders work the same way. Ah. Easy. This one actually has a carabiner that you can put on any side you'd like. And I'm going to put it on the front just for now. Ah. Okay. Has a drawstring pouch. It's probably about how deep it is, so you can see. Maybe you could fit your keys in there. It's a very small pocket. Has a side pocket. Again, you could put your keys or maybe a small little, um, a guy's wallet maybe. But you could fit your phone, sunglasses in there. And then one of my favorite accessories also that I purchased separately, it does not come with the pack. This is the umbrella holder. So I will say for me, this is kind of an important one because a lot of times we'll go places or pools and stuff and they just don't have enough shade. And so I have an umbrella and we've tried to hook it to fences around pools before and it just doesn't work. So this to me is kind of one of my favorite accessories. And I'm gonna show you right here. This is how it goes on. Actually it took me a second to figure it out, which is really simple. It just slips on and this part does go right here. So I'm gonna show you that and then I'm gonna show you the umbrella. Real quick. Now I will make mention that some of the newer sand umbrellas, if you haven't already noticed, um, have a spiral at the bottom. We have some older ones and they don't have that. So I'm not exactly sure if the spiral ones will fit or not, but ours completely fits. And so when we go to the pool, we now have a ton of shade. So Paula, what else can you use the umbrella holder for? A fishing pole. That's right. I don't fish, so I didn't, I forgot. Yes, guys, you can use the umbrella holder for your fishing pole. So there you go. I will say this is my toy. I love this cooler. I, I just, I've already used it once and I will use it all summer long. This is, now I will also tell you, I don't want to tell you the price because it's extremely pricey for a cooler. It is more expensive um, probably than a comparable size Yeti cooler, but I believe it is way better. It's, the accessories really make this cooler special. Um, so for me, um, this is a way better buy. Um, if you don't mind spending the money and you want a nice rugged cooler, this is definitely the one for you. So from the guy behind the camera, <laughs> I want to show you this because I think it's oh, really yeah. neat. So right here, Rover makes an attachment. You can see it right there. It hooks quite simply easy to both a bicycle and a golf cart. So if you have one of those, they sell the attachment. It's just a metal it, arm. Yeah, it just slips right in. Easy in, easy out. Not a problem at all. So you can just ride your bicycle and carry your cooler behind it. It is fantastic. This is definitely the new thing. This was a totally new cooler. Never seen this before. So y'all go check it out. This is really neat. And we bought it from uh, Public Lands, which is part of Dick Sporting Goods. Right. And we are fortunate to have one here near us. Right. I will say that I ordered the accessories from REI because we had some coupons. So also with that being said, we did, we did buy it from Dick's when they had one of their great sales going on. So like we got 20% off. Um, so we were able to save some money that way, but otherwise great core, definitely worth the price in my opinion. Thanks for watching.